Owen Schrödinger proposed a thought experiment in 1935 to establish that a quantum system could remain in a superposition until it was observed. In other words, it could be in one or more possible states at the same time. A few years ago, um, I developed a project for a series of animated films, uh, sort of Tex Avery style, based on Schrodinger's cat's revenge. So this is a, a, a frame from one of those, and here we have the cat hater, Erwin, um, being um, attacked by the cat, uh, who I've named Schrodinger. So a, a, a little bit peculiar, but there we are. Uh, and it takes place, uh, oddly, in my own house. And uh, we've got um, uh, framed posters on the wall from some uh, old shows which I which I did. But anyway, in the thought experiment, the cat is in a box and its life or death is dependent on a radioactive element which is either emitting radiation or not. The cat is both, therefore, alive and dead until that box is opened. The mathematics looks something like this. Uh, total energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy, which can look like this or like this, and so on. The, um, the, the actual mathematical proof uh, is, 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 is a rather beautiful looking thing. Now we observe physical phenomena all our lives. We, 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 we observe that if we throw a ball, it goes up in the air, it bounces. Um, but when we look at atoms, uh, we, we, these behave in a different way. How can we observe the behavior of systems in atoms? The everyday world we know behaves according to the observable physics that we've learnt and that we can see. But at an atomic level, things behave according to quantum mechanics. Before our observation, the cat was neither alive nor dead. It was in a superposition stage. It was in a mixture of both possibilities, where a fi with, with a 50% chance for each possibility. The same sort of thing happens to physical systems at a quantum scales, like an electron orbiting an atom. The electron isn't really orbiting, but is actually everywhere in space at the same time, with a possibility of being in some place rather than another place. Only after we have measured it, only after we've opened the box, can we say where it was, whether, it, whether our cat is alive or dead. Summary of Schrodinger's cat. Thank you.